Mustafa Lam. I'm traveling to Sheki, which is about 300 kilometers from Baku. We are halfway through. There is a 30 minute stop for buying refreshments. This is a perfect time to interact with locals. Good morning. So here is my organic Azeri breakfast. It looks delicious. Sheki is located on the slopes of the Greater Caucasus Mountains. The city was one of the major trading centers on the Silk Road. This is the entrance to the Summer Palace. As you enter, you see fortress walls. There's a craft workshop. You can also buy souvenirs from here. This is the Samo Palace, which was built in the 18th century for the ruling Sheki Khans of that time. The architecture is impressive both from inside and outside. The intricate wall paintings and stained glass windows look wonderful. However, photography is not allowed inside the palace. What's your name? Alisa. And her? Viga. You? No. What's your name? Say it. Say it. And oh, the... Alisa. Oh, oh, okay. They are your uh, family. Family? Yes. Very cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, look down to the right. Sheki has some of the friendliest and welcoming people you'll ever meet. Walking through a beautiful neighborhood. Here I've reached the Winter Palace. It looks like a smaller version of the Summer Palace. I'm the only tourist at this time, so it's good that I have the whole place to myself. This beautiful Shebike window is made without any glue or nails. Wow, this is amazing. Just a few steps away from the Winter Palace, you can find the Carven Sarai. This Carven Sarai was built in the 18th century to accommodate the traders and travelers on the Silk Road.
part of this place is used as a hotel. The rooms are basic but the atmosphere is lovely. Exploring Sheki city on foot can be quite rewarding. You get to see beautiful houses, medieval architecture, cafes, cobble streets, and shops selling pure silk scarves. You'll see Soviet time ladders everywhere. Almost every taxi on the road is a ladder. Right now I'm sitting inside a 300 year old building that is now being run as a cafe. Here comes my friend Aitin. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Something special made of anar here, like anar, uh, anar, anar. Uh, pomegranate. Uh, yes, uh, uh, food you mean, right? Or uh, it's a juice. drink or something? Yeah, we have oh. nar juice or nar uh. wine. Oh yeah, is yes. it alcohol free or with alcohol? Uh, with alcohol. Okay. Yes. Is it good? Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be visiting Kongoth village, which is 25 kilometers from Sheki city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah. you can keep talking, it's okay. not a problem. Yeah. Just an experience, right? It's very nice. Yes. <laughs> Our driver asked to keep our passports ready just in case it is needed. Yeah. 
içidi içi. Buradan o tarafa içidi. Buradan o tarafa yok. İçerlerini çeşen bu ihtar var. We have reached Kongot village. The place looks so beautiful. There are some cottages where you can stay if you would like to. Nestled in the countryside, this is a perfect place for nature lovers. Have a look at it. Yeah, sure. We eat them when they are too tiny. We, you know, we do this one like this. So we take a couple of them. Mm -hmm. We do it like this. And is it basil? No, we dip it into vinegar. So it's like vinegar. it's a kind of herb. Uh, kind of herb, yes. Okay. But for as a snack. Oh. Yes, not for medicinal purposes. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's calling its friends to attack us. Having chai with baklava. What a fantastic combination. There are many sweet shops in Sheki. The most popular sweet is Sheki Baklava. The main ingredients used are rice flour, hazelnuts, saffron, cardamom, coriander and of course sugar. If you are in Sheki, don't forget to try this local speciality. Ancient Albanian church is located in the picturesque village of Kish. The present structure was built in the 12th century. Caucasian Albanians refer to the people who lived in this region during that time. The church is not functional anymore. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.